Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I'd bring you guys along on a cute little Sunday evening routine. It is currently late afternoon early evening of a Sunday and I thought this would be the perfect video. A cute little wholesome video of relaxing, unwinding, a bit of pampering and everything that I kind of get up to on a Sunday evening preparing myself for the week ahead. Sunday routine is near enough always the same but sometimes it kind of like differs so I always like to start off my Sunday Sunday evening routine with either a bath or a shower. Now I will be having a shower today because I went to my friend's house last night and we had a little hot tub party um, so my hair is covered in chlorine and needs a good wash. However if I was to have a bath it literally would have just been like a bath with some bubbles and a bath bomb and cute little relaxing but because I'm in, going to jump in the shower I thought I'd just quickly show you what products I'll be using in the shower today. So to start it off I will be using some Olaplex hair care products. I'll be using the Olaplex number no. 4 Bond Maintenance Shampoo and then the Olaplex number no. 5 Bond Maintenance Conditioner. Now I don't use Olaplex every day on my hair. Olaplex is like a hair treatment I'll use on my hair once every one to two weeks and then the rest of the time I will just use my normal herbal essence shampoo and conditioner and then my herbal essence hair mask um, but along with them I'll also be using my Olaplex number no. 8 bond intense moisture mask and that's all the products I'll be using on my hair then I will just be using like imperial leather shower gel whatever I've got lying around but that's in the bathroom then for a body scrub I'll be using this smudge beauty product scrub and this is the gold lady tootsie scrub Oh, it smells so nice this is what it looks like it's such like a soft gentle scrub not some like harsh one that literally scrubs at your body and then with the scrub i'll be using this daily concepts daily round silicone scrub which just kind of help exfoliate the body with my scrub after the shower i will be using again smudge beauty products so the same brand as my scrub i'll be using their lavender marshmallow body butter and again this smells amazing insane honestly this brand is so cute it is a small business and they do the cutest little routine pamper self-care night essential so i definitely recommend checking them out they are called smudge beauty products i will link them down below they've got like a instagram tiktok facebook and i do have a discount code elsie which i will put on the screen and leave it down below if you want to check them out and save yourself some pennies on these products i'm now going to jump in the shower freshen up and of course put some fresh pajamas on as well when i'm out of the shower and i'll see you when i'm fresh out of the shower out of the shower now so i'm going to start with some after shower hair care i'm going to be using two products today so first off i'm going to go in again olaplex is like olaplex day today so i'm going with my olaplex number six bond smoother and then after that i'm going to go in with my gliss hair repair a liquid silk express repair conditioner basically you should leave in conditioner so both these products i will put in from like mid length downwards of my hair and just let my hair be all good basically so i just rub in a pea sized amount of my olaplex into my fingers and literally just run that through the ends of my hair i do that to both sides and then i do just brush it through just to make sure it is all evenly distributed now my olaplex is in my hair i've just given it a quick brush through so it's all evenly distributed i'm going to go with my gliss leave-in conditioner i have just given it a bit of like a quick shake as you can see as it does say shake before use and i literally just spritz it again mid length down and just try and get that all everywhere then again i will give it a quick brush through again just so it's all evenly distributed and my hair is going to be all nourished now that my hair care is done, it's time to go in with a little bit of skincare. So the skincare chosen choice for today is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. So I now, if I would have had a bubble bath, I would have um, already, I would have put like, I always do like a face mask and let it like sit on my face whilst I'm relaxing in the bath, but obviously, because it's a shower day today, I'm going to do it now. With this, this is like a once a week kind of treatment, obviously. So this is the first time I'm using it today for this week. And it's like a little pipette and then you literally just drop it on your face and then you rub it into like a face mask so you just rub it all over your face makes your face a red color and then you leave this to sit on your face for 10 minutes before washing it off with some water 
Now this is on my face, I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes before I obviously wash it off with some water. But whilst this is sitting for 10 minutes, I think I'm going to do a little bit of reading. Now this is like a new addition that I'm trying to add into like my Sunday evening routine. So I used to love reading when I was younger, then obviously as I grew up I kind of grew out of it. But I really want to get back into reading again and just kind of spending less time scrolling on my phone. So this is the book that i have currently just started reading it is called chained hands and it's by the seller tl smith i bought this online off amazon and this is book one to like quite a few series book so i found her through tiktok and like the author does tiktoks and she posts like kind of like povs and um little like scenes and they were like so good but they were like point of views of scenes from her book and like everyone was commenting oh my god it's really good and um, they all really enjoyed the books and they're waiting for like the next book to go out so I thought oh I'm gonna give this a go I have also got another book my sister got me the Molly May's new book for my birthday but as I've already started reading this I want to carry on reading this before I start reading the Molly May's book so I'm gonna sit and read this for 10 minutes and hopefully I'm just I don't know I shouldn't love reading so I just hopefully that I get back into it and obviously if I do then it'll be more of like every day kind of evening rather than a sunday but i'm just trying to slowly bring it back to me when i am less busy rather than just endless amounts of scrolling from my phone when i don't need to be doing it. i could be doing something else so i'm gonna sit and read through this for 10 minutes and i'll see you when it's time to wash off my face mask right guys the face mask is off and let me just tell you this book so obviously i always said i was going to be back in 10 minutes i end up sitting and reading this book for half an hour rather than 10 minutes i just did not want to put the book down every time i turn the page i was like no just one more page and like i'm already that many pages in and i thought right it's been half an hour i should probably go actually go and wash off this face mask but honestly i just did not want to put this book down which is so good so i'm really excited to carry on reading it which is obviously such a good thing as i said i did want to get back into reading obviously have a bit more of like a downtime rather than just endless amounts of scrolling through my phone every day so i'm super excited about that but now it's time to get in with a bit of evening skincare now i've washed off that face mask so i'm going to start off with a toner and the toner i'm going to use today is this original skin essence toner by happy skin and i'm just going to apply that to my face using this reusable lilo and stitch cotton pad i'm literally just going to put some onto the pad just rub it all over my face next thing i'm going to use in my skincare tonight is this plum hyaluronic acid so again it's like a little pet thing like my ordinary one and again i'm just gonna put that into my face press that into my skin um and i'm pretty sure this was like the dupe for the glow recipe um hyaluronic acid um i, I know it was definitely due for submit whether it was the glow recipe not or not if it was something else but i'm pretty sure it was um the glow recipe but honestly it smells so nice, it literally smells like sweets, but yeah, I'm just going to press that all into my skin. Now I'm just going to put on this Pineapple Face Serum, and again, this is Aldi, and again, the tube for Glow Recipe, and I'm just going to press that all into my skin again. Now for my moisturiser, I'm just going in with this CeraVe moisturiser, and again, just like a normal moisturiser, just gonna rub that all into my skin. Honestly, I love this moisturiser. I used to suffer really badly with dry skin, but also like really oily on my T-zone. And I feel like this moisturiser has really helped. All like my skincare is literally making my skin glow, like honestly. All these skincare products I'm using right now, honestly, holy grails. They're making my skin so glowy. I'm just seeing so much improvements. Lips, I'm just going in with this lip oil. Um, and this is a coconut lip oil. This is actually a Lilo and Stitch one from Primark. And to finish off my skincare this evening, I'm going to go in with this Tea Tree Clear Skin Gel. And I'm just going to dab that onto the few little spots that i've got going on on my chin now it's time to change my wax melt so I, this is the wax melt i've gone for it is in the scent snow fairy now lush lovers i'm sure you all know and love the smell snow fairies of course this is going to be the scent i choose today i usually like change my wax melts like once a week so and this always ends up being on the sun just so it's like a fresh smell for the up and coming week and this is the scent i'm going for today and i'll probably put two of the 
little squares in there. Now it's coming to the end of the evening, so I've got, of course, a little snack. This is a millionaire cookie. Look how amazing that is. I bought it from my local farm shop. They obviously sell, like, the fresh fruit and veg, and then they make their own little, like, dessert. So I've got this, and I'm going to settle down. So, of course, it is Love Island season, so I have been watching Love Island, but it's not quite 9 o'clock yet, so I'm going to stick on some Netflix. I'll probably watch the new episode of Riverdale. Anyone who's got any kind of, like, Netflix or normal TV recommendations, definitely leave them down below for me to check out. So I'm going to munch on this whilst watching Riverdale before Love Island comes on. I might even sit and read a few more pages of my book, because honestly, guys, I am obsessed. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed joining me on my little Sunday evening tonight and I'll see you next week for a new video.